things are wrong, but I kind of like Mr. Hyde. Hi everyone, let's talk about Once Upon a Time Season 6 and what we know so far. So last season ended with Mr. Hyde coming to Storybrooke and bringing in some of the untold stories along with him. And on top of that, Regina split herself in the evil queen and thought she killed her, but she didn't really. So, you know, we're in trouble. That's where we're starting this new season, which premieres on Sunday, September 25th at 8pm on ABC. I gathered some information as to what we can expect this season from the cast and producer interviews at Comic-Con, as well as articles from TV Line and Entertainment Weekly. So let's jump right into it. Unlike previous seasons, this season of Once Upon a Time will have one story that will expand throughout the whole 22 episodes. So no more splitting the season in two. We're getting one single story that will happen all the way to the end of the season. So if you thought they were going to defeat Mr. Hyde or the Evil Queen by December, that's not happening. Well, I mean, it, maybe it's happening, but you know. Probably not. A big part of this season will of course be the untold stories. But what are the untold stories? Well, there are stories that have yet to play out. So characters from those stories decided, hey, I'm not really liking what's going on. I'm just gonna pause this for a little bit. I don't really wanna keep going through this story. So I'm not gonna deal with it. And they sort of put pause on their own stories. But now that Mr. Hyde has brought them to Storybrooke, they're gonna have to deal with things they might have not wanted to deal with. Which also means that Emma will be back doing what she does best, and that's helping people find their happiness. And speaking of Emma saving people, as we know, Emma is the savior, but turns out she might not be the first one actually. There were other saviors before her. And in fact, Aladdin, who's a new character this season, was a savior even before Emma was one. And I'll talk about him a little later, but one thing that I find really interesting about the saviors this season is we're going to delve into their mythology. So the same way that we learned about the Dark One mythology last season, we're going to learn all about the saviors. And I'm so freaking excited about this because I love the Dark One mythology and I'm all about learning more about the saviors now. As for the themes for this season, one of them is can you really separate good from bad? Another theme will be what is happiness? What is a happy ending? Is it just, you know, living your life? Does it have to do with one final happy moment? What is it? So now that we know all about what's coming this season, let's take a look at what our favorite characters are doing. Regina slash the Evil Queen. There are actually two characters now, which is crazy. Of course, one of the big questions that will be answered this season is why didn't the Evil Queen die when Regina crushed her heart? What's up with that? Like, seriously. While we might have met the Evil Queen before, this Evil Queen is a little different because she doesn't have the Regina part to kind of pull her back a little bit. Like, just slow down her evilness. No, she's full on evil. And she still is holding a grudge against, you know, Snow White. So that's not really good. She's going to go after Snow White. She's going to go after Charming. She's really going to go after everybody. And worst of all, she's going to use mental manipulations in order to kind of mess with people. And one more tease for you. We're actually going to see a plan that the Evil Queen set in motion years ago come to fruition and affect Charming and Snow White, which cannot be good. Hook. We're going to find out some secrets about Hook's past, some secrets he's been harboring. And that that he might still feel guilty about so he's gonna have to deal with that and that might also affect a couple of his relationships which you know that probably means Emma which is not good come on just just give us some happiness just a little bit Emma so by now we know that Hook and Emma really have true love so they will have to figure out how to move forward this season Emma will also be exploring some questions including whether her job is just helping other people find happiness or whether she also gets to have a happy ending and of course Aladdin will bring up a lot of these questions because he was savior before her there's actually a clip from the new season featuring Aladdin that's been released that apparently gives some hints as to what Emma will be having to deal with this season so I'll put the link to the clip in the description. Belle. So Belle is back in case you were worried. She's back and she will be getting out of her box. Emily DeRaven teased that the way Belle gets out of her box is quote really cool and it will also reveal a lot about her relationship and her past slash future. 
Zelina. Well, Zelina always wanted to belong, always wanted to have a family. Now she has two sisters. I mean, one of them is the evil queen, but you know, it's still kind of her sister, sort of. So she's going to be dealing with that and a baby and the fact that she killed her boyfriend. You know, lots of things going on. Mr. Hyde, as I mentioned, Mr. Hyde is coming to Storybrooke. So uh, mostly we're gonna have to figure out what his whole agenda is. Why is he here? What does he want? And some familiar faces will also be back this season, including Cinderella slash Ashley. She will appear in the third episode and we're gonna find out that she has a connection to the land of untold stories. On top of that, we'll also find out how her and Snow White became friends. Another character that will return is Dr. Archie Hopper, aka Jiminy Cricket, who's going to be getting a new patient. And finally, Dr. Whale, aka Dr. Frankenstein, will also be making an appearance. Now that we know what our returning characters will be up to, let's talk about new characters this season. I've already mentioned Aladdin, whom we find out is a savior. And if you've seen the clip that was released, he seems to be in pretty bad shape. And in Aladdin's world, we'll also be meeting Jafar and Jasmine. Morpheus. Morpheus is the Greek god of dreams. He can pretty much guide people through the world of dreams. Does that make you think of anyone? Yes. He will have some interactions with Belle and Rumpelstiltskin. Maybe he's involved with the cool weed that Belle is gonna get out of her box. Just saying. We also know about Morpheus that he's good at reading people, but also good at hiding his own agenda. The Count of Monte Cristo. He will appear in episode six of the new season and will of course be tied to the land of untold stories. And of course the character comes from the book from Alexandre Dumas. In the book, the character is accused of treason and imprisoned and years later decides to take his revenge. He will be played by Craig Horner from Legend of the Seeker, which I'm really excited about because I really loved Legend of the Seeker. Captain Nemo. Now he has a connection with Hook and is the captain of the Natalia submarine. So we're going underwater. I'm thinking that he probably has to do with Hook's secrets that we're gonna find out. Shahrazad. We're going to meet the spinner from the 1001 Nights story. Dr. Lydgate. Technically, he's new, but he was a character in Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, so not so new. I mean, you might have seen him. He was in charge of the asylum in which Alice was, and he's apparently coming to Once Upon a Time. He will appear in the fourth episode. I'm actually very curious to find out how they're going to tie him into that story. And that's all I have for you right now, but of course, if I forgot anything, let me know in the comments. I'd love to also hear what you're looking forward to this season. Personally, I'm all about the saviors thing. Like, I really want to know more about that mythology. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. And you know, if they want to just add a lot of Emma Hook scenes, I mean, I wouldn't say no because I love them. So yeah, let's have more Hook and Emma scenes too. Like that, that'll be awesome. Savior mythology, Captain Swan. Awesome season.